The two figures on the left are similar to each other in some way. Circle the letter below the figure on the right that is most like the two on the left. Question 33. If we examine the two figures on the left here first of all, it's a good idea to think about each figure as a separate collection of shapes. It's confusing when there are lots of shapes all together, so you should think about each figure as a separate collection like this. First of all, we can see that both figures share this semicircular shape in this orientation. Then we can see that both figures have two triangles, although they are shaded differently in each of the figures, they also share one square. So the similarities we're looking for here then is the semicircular shape in this orientation, two triangles shaded in a variety of ways, and a square. And again, the square can also be shaded differently. You can see in figure one it's black, but in figure two it's shaded white. Option A, first of all, has the semicircle in the wrong orientation. It only has one triangle, not two, and although it has one square, the other elements are incorrect, so A is not the right option. Option B has the correct orientation of the semicircle. It has two triangles, but instead of the square, has this pentagon. So option B is incorrect as well. Option C has two triangles, which we need, and the one square, which we also need. Unfortunately for option C though, this is in the wrong orientation. Our semicircle is facing the wrong way. So C is incorrect. This leaves D. And you can see we have the two triangles we require. We have the one square, which we also require. And we have this shape, and it's in the correct orientation. Although the shading of all the shapes in these two figures changed in a variety of ways, these shapes are in the correct orientation and there are the correct number of each of them. This means option D is the correct answer here.